Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about shooting the basketball under pressure. This is something that a lot of players struggle with and of course everyone struggles with it at one point in their life. So this is the video for you if you're struggling shooting when you're under pressure. Now under pressure comes a few different ways. It doesn't just come with a defender on you trying to block your shot. It also comes with a bigger crowd and also free throw shots. Those are the three pressures that I'm going to talk to you about today. Now, number one, if you have a player coming up and trying to block your shot, the first thing you need to do, you need to do is to figure out if he can block your shot, if he's close enough and he has the jumping ability to block your shot, but also you have to figure out is your shot fast enough that you don't care about that player. So I've been blocked from the three-point line. Everyone's been blocked from the three-point line. So this is the psychological thing that you need to get over is who cares if you get blocked? If you get blocked, who really cares? The only time you should really care is if there's three seconds left in the game and you're down by one or two. And at that point, you need to know you're making that shot. However, if you've got a player coming out on you, a couple of things that you can do. Is this player jump happy if I was to do a shot fake is he gonna get in the air so I can take one dribble out towards the side and take that shot is he gonna get into the air so I can then take that shot fake and drive on him these are some of the things that you need to know if this is a six foot seven guy who is a center who's recovering out to you there's a high likelihood that he's gonna try and block your shot so if you do a shot fake he should be in the air, you should be able to get past him. These are some of the things that can be in your mind. So think of all of, I want, that, this is your work right now. Think of all of the different possibilities and outcomes that you can have without having your shot blocked. A shot fake and drive, a shot fake, dribble out towards the side and take that shot. There's so many different opportunities for you. How about a, you get that ball, guy is recovering out you do a job a job fake or a job step he now stops dead on his heels thinking that you're going to go and drive on him and in reality you just take that shot we've seen this by Zion Williams a, a few times in this season so these are the cup uh, these are a few different options that you may have now another option is to work on your shot to be quicker so to do that number one a shot should only be two motions. It should be shooting pocket, one, two. That's it. There's a lot of players who will go and go all the way up their body and then they'll go like this. Or they'll go and shoot like that. Don't do that. All you need to do, if you want a quick shot, you get that ball, shooting pocket, one, two. That's it. That's all you need to do. This is why you can see players like Ray Allen who can get their shots off in players' faces because his shot is so quick. Now another tip that I can give you to have a faster shot so you don't get blocked is from here, one, two, but also when you release that ball, flick as fast as you can. So by going up and flicking that wrist, you're getting that ball to have more rotation, but it's also giving you a faster release. Think about it. If you release the ball slowly, it's got, it's got backspin, but it takes a couple of milliseconds longer to leave your hands. So by flicking your wrist faster, it's going to allow you to shoot over more players. This is actually a tip I was given many, many years ago before I went down to the States by a guy I played pickup ball with at the Y who played professionally over in the Philippines. He was able to cross over the ball and the ball wouldn't be over more than an inch off the ground. If you can do stuff like that, you're going to be fantastic of a player someday. However, flick your wrist faster, try to get as much spin on that ball as possible, and then have that one, two, motion that's it and if you can make that two motion into a one motion where you can just go up like this 
that's an even quicker release. So that's just one way that you can shoot over a pressuring defender. However, what about pressuring crowds? If, the, if you're in a high school setting, you might be in a championship game where you might have 500 people in the crowd. I've been in those situations. Back in grade eight, we had probably close to three or 400 people because we were in the, uh, the regional championships for school. And believe me, if you can blank out that crowd by just focusing on basketball, if you can have a singular mindset on, this is the basketball, that's my coach, these are my players, that's it. Don't ever look into the crowd. That's going to help you block out that crowd. Now, on to the free throw shots. Now, yes, free throw shots can be stressful. This can be a pressuring situation. You're one-on-one -on -one with the basket. Nobody is going to be in your way to make this shot, but you'll have three players on that side, two players on that side. You've got a couple of players behind you. You've got your bench sitting right there. You've got the other team's bench sitting over there. You've got your coach. You've got the referees. You've got your, maybe your parents in the crowd, and you're like, man, I just need, a, I didn't, I need to make this shot. Well... I'm gonna give you a little bit of a strategy that you can have by shooting a free throw shot or to shoot a free throw shot. Number one, I'm gonna tell you right now, every coach has a different saying on how many dribbles, how many spins, what you need to do, how long you need to take. But I'm gonna tell you one thing, and that's one singular thing. Shoot your shot the same way as you would shoot every other shot. The same form, don't change it. Don't be shooting a regular shot like this and then go to the free throw line and do a granny shot. You don't want to do that. That's a totally different shot. It's going to be muscle memory that you want to focus on here. So you want to shoot the same shot, shoot same shooting form as you normally would. Next is to get a routine. I don't care what the routine is. As long as it's something that is the same thing every single time and it helps you calm down. So for me, I get to the line, I'll actually start a bit farther back, and if it's an indoor game, I'll have an evolution ball, and I can usually palm those, and I'll palm the ball up into the line, and I'll have the ball down. I'll get my feet set, I'm going to go one bounce, a spin, I'll get low, and then I'll take my shot. That's all I do. I know there's some coaches who say I need to take like three dribbles, one, two, three, spin, another dribble, spin, whatever. Every, everyone actually has a different way of doing a free throw shot. You have 10 seconds to shoot this shot. If you're tired, take all the 10 seconds as you want. Literally, stand back here, they'll pass you the ball. Walk up to the line, be like taking some deep breaths. Deep breaths actually help you concentrate. You'll actually feel a chill sometimes go through your body. And you'll be on this line, one dribble for me, spin, get down low, take that shot. Super simple, super easy, and the same thing every single time. It's gonna help you shoot so many more free throws at a, such a higher percentage pace. Now I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.